approaching zero energy and, and striving for carbon neutral communities. Uh, the message really today is that plastics provide these innovative solutions today, and it's not you know rocket science and things in the future. Buildings use 70% of all of our electricity. 70%. So it's a huge number. And as Amory Love says from Rocky Mountain Institute, uh, as long as oil is more than $19 a barrel, it makes sense to do energy efficiency improvements. And now our new Secretary Chu from the Department of Energy, he says, you know, energy efficiency isn't the low-hanging fruit. It's like the fruit already on the ground. You just got to pick it up. So much of the legislation that's going through Congress right now in the world around, you know, Kyoto Phase Two is this idea about carbon and carbon dioxide. And really, CO2 is becoming a proxy for energy. The menu on the buffet today, the different high-performance plastics products that you can see. And you mentioned the SIP or the SIPS panels, and so if you look uh, structural slated panels there, the foam inside the, the oriented strand board, and whether it's used for walls, whether it's used for roofing. Uh, traditional insulation board stock on the roofs of buildings. So there, once again, you see expandable polystyrene, or polyurethane, and foam blocks. And these aren't high-tech solutions. These are ideas that the walls, the roof, the floor, the building envelope, or the building closure, still a tie to reveal right. right. So uh, a couple of different other items. Great ways for insulation there in the lower left hand corner, the spray polyurethane foam roofing, uh, insulated concrete forms, ICS as they're called in the industry. Uh, one of the interesting things here is uh, they're hurricane resistant, they're tornado resistant, they're termite resistant. So here you have this great high performance wall where you stack up these foam blocks and you pour the, the concrete in, and it's essentially a reinforced concrete wall different opportunities on the menu of high-performance building and construction. But if you move over kind of to miscellaneous applications, sure, everybody really knows about the foam sealants and the caulks and the adhesives. But one of the things that people don't think about so often is the foundation stabilization. So there you actually see huge blocks of foam, in this case, expandable polystyrene foam called geofoam, insulating under your concrete slab so your tile floors aren't cold, things of that nature. Certainly, we all know about uh, the electrical switches, the electrical insulation around uh, our wires. And, but one of the things people don't think about are insulated doors. And here I'm showing a garage door uh, that's insulated. But uh, not only is it uh, your entry doors in and out, but even the idea of having clean, free surfaces on the outside or also pigmented surfaces that are able to reflect the heat and not absorb the heat and allow it to come in. Uh, one of the things I just wanted to show in these next three slides are some ideas around contributing technologies of plastics. So we mentioned PEX tubing, the cross-link polyethylene tubing. In the United States, about 12% globally of all of our energy goes to pump water. And one of the things that we found is that the fouling and the corrosion of minerals in water is much less when it's on a plastic surface versus on a metal surface. So the nice, smooth surfaces, you know, over the years, you're actually going to use less to pump uh, through the, the tubing. Um, concrete flooring support systems. So this is actually the idea of using large planks of expandable polystyrene to span the surface of the walls, and then you come on top of that and you pour concrete surfaces. Sound improvement, but more importantly, it allows us to add mass to our homes. Radiant floor heating systems. So here you're actually able to have the cross-link polyethylene tubing, uh, serpentine on the floor, then you pour over um, the concrete surfaces. Here is looking at the windows. Uh, certainly Energy Star plastic windows. Low maintenance surfaces. Utilizing plastic systems once you're insulating the building envelope really well, then you have the opportunity like what we're showing here with solar hot water heating systems. And then lastly, showing here uh, uh, the solar laminates. So instead of having a huge, big, uh, bulky uh, item that you would put on the top of your roof, you can actually have the rubber mat, and they're actually laminated to the roof surface. So anyway, that was just some of the items that are being utilized today to really help uh, lower the building demand of energy for our homes. Thank you very much.